and welcome to another video. I'm brought to you today in my pyjamas. I've had this t-shirt since I was a very small wee one. I'm not sure whether you can hear noises from outside of merriment, people clinking glasses together, generally loudly speaking and laughing. We're not celebrating America's independence. For some reason, I don't know why we wouldn't celebrate that. Instead, it's because the pubs are now open in England, which for me personally seems a little bit of an odd choice. Let's not be political. <laughs> so yeah, people are just still awake and being noisy, so that's great. So today's video is all about Pidge. On my last video I asked if people were interested in seeing more of Pidge or less of Pidge, and it was a unanimous two votes for more Pidge. So, here's more Pidge for you. A little bit of backstory. On the 2nd of July, my darling Pidge flew away. So at the back of our house is a very, very tall wall. And behind that wall is somebody else's garden and uh, their house. Why would they have a garden and not a house? I don't know, it's not allotment. I digress. We opened the coop. Definitely a rabbit hutch. We opened the door of the rabbit hutch and there was a conversation of uh, whether we should see if Pidge can fly or not. The decision was taken out of our hands because Pidge got onto the floor and then just flew up and over this wall, which is not what we wanted to see. We wanted to see if Pidge like hover around and get some exercise but instead Pidge was like hand gesture because Pidge clearly went over the wall and not sort of past the wall and out onto Pidge's new life we decided to go and see if we could find Pidge so we went round and looked through the gate of this garden I saw Pidge um, can I do a reenactment here? Sure, I'm going to do a reenactment. That's pretty much what Pidge looked like, just stuck in a bush, one wing up, not moving, definitely blinking. So we knocked on the door of the house of the garden adjacent. Uh, no one answered the door. So we knocked on the second house that, with the shared garden, we knocked on that door and a lovely gentleman came out and said he would open the gate for us and then he said something slightly disconcerting to someone who has saved a baby pigeon from a prowling cat the man said oh we have a lot of problem with birds here our cat keeps bringing us birds he then couldn't find the key to the garden he asked his partner she found the keys gave him the key he unlocked it we went in, got Pidge and put Pidge in a uh, cloth bag. <laughs> so I was walking around with a pigeon in a bag. Not something I ever thought I'd be carrying in a tote bag, but I was pleased nonetheless that we had found Pidge and Pidge was safe. God forbid if Pidge had been caught by a cat and we'd have turned up and looked in that back garden and it was a feathery bloodbath. I Honestly, I would have been absolutely devastated. Anyways, got Pidge, brought Pidge home. Pidge had a lovely day, <laughs> I assume, eating and whatnot. On the 3rd of July, there's some footage that you're going to see in a second of the 3rd of July. Pidge was fine. Um, we tried to open the door of the rabbit hutch and Pidge flew at the door. Their talons grasped the door. So we decided that that was a bad way of getting Pidge out because Pidge now knows that it can fly and be free via that way. So we opened it from the top and got Pidge and brought Pidge out. Pidge was fine. Pidge had drank a lot, which is one of my favourite things that Pidge does. I don't know why. I think it's adorable when it drinks. There was literally six minutes of it and I had to cut it up because it's just too much. Today we went to get Pidge out and Pidge was you'll see, very still, very tired looking. Pidge didn't try to escape. There was still quite a lot of food in Pidge's bowl, so I would assume that that means that Pidge hasn't been eating that much. There was a fair amount of poo in the, in the coop though. A fair amount of poo, yes. Yes, a little poo machine. 
Pidge didn't really do much when we got Pidge out. We put some songs on for Pidge. Birdsong <sighs> was interested but didn't really do very much. I didn't record this but Pidge took a really big drink of water and then started eating towards the evening. So I'm a little bit worried that Pidge is now on my time, which is night time. Eh, I don't know. So, tomorrow, when I get Pidge out, we're going to have a look and see how much food Pidge is eating, see how lively Pidge is. Um, if Pidge hasn't eaten very much, then we are going to give uh, another syringe feed to try and boost Pidge back into as optimal health as we can. I mean, I've been talking too long. Let's watch some footage of Pidge. Oh.
Little tiny pig. What did you think of little tiny pig resting on its ball before bed? F fun fact: when we put Pidge back into the rabbit hutch, I, I picked up the food bowl to put in the hutch, and it was so so warm where it had been resting up against it. It was so sweet. I love this bird so much. I'm also terrified of this bird. <laughs> Pidge is still unsteady on its feet but is much, much, much better than it has been in the past. Its legs are sort of more underneath it as opposed to splayed out, which is fantastic. I don't know if Pidge still thinks I'm trying to kill it. Still doesn't really like me being near it, as I'm sure you'll be able to tell from the footage. And also, I don't know if it thinks that I'm just harvesting its poo. Because whenever it poos, I come in and scoop it up and put it in a bag. So maybe Pidge is just like, I don't want to be your poop machine anymore. And I'm like, that's the only thing you do, just love me. <laughs> I don't mind if Pidge doesn't love me. I just wish that Pidge wasn't quite as afraid of me as it is. Oh, that's another thing that I forgot to mention. So yesterday, Pidge flew into the wall again. So maybe that's why Pidge was a bit tired today. I don't know. It's hard to know with a bird that can't speak. Side update, I got in contact with the people that I bought the tie-dye kit from and they said that it should be with me between five and seven working days. So if it does and then the weather's nice, you and me are going to do some tie-dyeing. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please feel free to. Mm, this is my handle. This is my handle. This is my spat. I'm a teapot, so pour me out. I'm an adult. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.